threat from Hiroshima to Hope. It's an annual commemoration of the bombings of both Hiroshima on August 6th and Nagasaki on August 9th. Like that? Yeah. We always hold it on August 6th, no matter what day of the week, it's always August 6th. It's a way to remember those who died in the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and by extension, all those who die in war. It's not just a remembrance of things that have gone before, but a way forward to a better future, one without nuclear weapons, without war, that's based on justice. Absence of violence does not mean peace. You need justice in order to have peace. Our love has to be 24-7. The golden rule, it's old. Do unto others as you will want them to do. If you don't do it 24, why would you do it one day? Love is all the time. It doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> What's happening? Who's going to oppose it? It can't just be somebody else. Someone else ought to say something. Someone else ought to do something. We need to take ownership of it and, and move. And, and that's part, part of what From Hiroshima to Hope is all about, bringing people together in a way where they can see that they're not alone uh, and that there are other people who are willing to take a stand and, and make a statement. Never again is now. It's time to stand up, take a stand, and, and fight back. There's a word in, in Japanese, it's called gama, which means endurance, perseverance. Never give up, keep going. We will keep going.